welcome back to my channel. Bit of a different background today. Just wanted to keep it plain. Let me know what you think. I've also started doing videos on my Instagram as well. So check those out. Let me know what you think. They're kind of like short versions of these YouTube videos. Today I have kindly been sent the whole five collection of some new sort of mini perfumettes from the brand More. They're all like a different color. I don't know if you can see. And they're all different fragrances and I can't wait to open them up and try them with you and do my first impressions with you. If you're new here then welcome to my little perfume world on the internet. Um, do subscribe if you love perfumes like me. I have new videos every week and I love doing your requests as well so let me know your requests down in the comments. They all come in these really cute boxes. I think the packaging is so decadent and so lovely. And then they open up to reveal the perfume and the logo here and it says more peacock the peacock is a symbol of our creativity and aspiration paradise and royalty spirituality and mindfulness very sort of decadent beautiful how cute is this peacock logo absolutely loving the packaging so let's see what they smell like so this first one is the red one it's blood orange enriched with lily of the valley jasmine and rose so you really do get the blood orange. I can smell the rose and the lily of the valley. You know, this immediately reminds me of um, an English country garden, like when I used to go around stately homes as a child with my parents. That's what this smells like. So let's try it on the skin. Definitely getting the blood orange in the initial few seconds, and then it's warming into the lily of the valley and then the rose is coming through. Um, really pretty, really elegant. This is definitely good for the summer. I really love the red packaging of this one. And who doesn't love blood orange? Like I feel like it's a very happening now fragrance note and it really it provides that fruity freshness but still has that interesting sharpness. And I think it works really well and it's unusual for me to like Lily of the Valley but I think it does work with this really well. So next we have the white one. So this one is Snow Gardenia enriched with juniper berry, ylang ylang and sandalwood. So I'm sensing this is a florally one with a little bit of that sandalwood in. Wow, really getting the juniper berry there. So on the skin, I can really get the ylang ylang, the juniper berry. This feels very floral. It's almost got a bit of a hit in that first um, few seconds, and then it's fading into a softer, florally one. This is definitely for someone who likes something like, say, Tom Ford Black Orchid or something that's bit heavier a heavy floral I guess that sort of black and white packaging really gives away that this is quite a heavier one out of all of them it's still floral don't get me wrong it's not aromatic or anything but it definitely means business that snow gardenia must be a really strong fragrance note so next we have the pink one this is lychee flower enriched with rose berries and green wood that lychee flower really is lovely. I haven't been to Hawaii, but I imagine that this is what it smells like. So as it's settling, some of the more green notes are coming through. The initial smell is very much like a berry and the lychee flower. This feels very tropical, green, fresh, exotic. Uh, really lovely, definitely a good one for spring summer to have in your handbag. And of course it's pink, so I think this one might be my favorite so far. We'll see. Next we have the turquoise one. So this one is called Bohemony with strawberry, white jasmine and orange blossom. I think I'm pronouncing that right, Bohemony. Mmm, almost sweet, almost like a sugary sweetness. I'm definitely getting the strawberry in this one, but it doesn't feel like overly sweet. It feels like a floral sweet. Again, very summery. I'm getting the English country garden. This is really pretty. Definitely a bit lighter than some of the others, but I think this will be really refreshing to have in your handbag during the day. That sort of strawberry orange blossom. Yeah, white jasmine. I really feel it just feels like fresh and fruity, pretty, but all of these have smelt really classy and not like cheap fruity or anything like that. And I think it is quite difficult to get fragrances that are fruity or sweet or light that don't smell a little bit cheap, but these definitely all smell really classy. Then finally we have the orange one. So this is Belladonna, Moroccan Rose, French Cassis and Patchouli. 
So I'm really getting the cassis from this. I'm really getting the patchouli. I'm getting quite a heavy floral. And I am getting some almost Moroccan Arabic vibes. I guess that's the Moroccan rose coming through. This is probably the spiciest of them all. And it isn't completely spicy, but I'm definitely getting some sort of incense-y notes here. That's definitely the Moroccan rose. And the patchouli and the cassis, quite heavy floral. So this is probably the heaviest of the five. If you are loving something that's got that little bit of like Arabic Moroccan vibes, then this is definitely one for you. I guess it's got that sort of terracotta orangey color that you really get lots of in Morocco. If you've been, you'll know what I mean. So that's it. It was really lovely to explore a new perfume range that I haven't tried before and share my first impressions with you guys. Let me know what you think. I will leave the links as always down below to where you can can buy these but that's it so thanks so much for watching don't forget to give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I'll see you again soon